entire series yet again. <laughs> I know there's like, what, six of these drawing, but deal with it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, this is going to be a solo arc Ragnarok series. I figured I'd do this especially because I've got a um, Ragnarok server that I may be streaming on, and if I get enough people who are interested in joining, that'll definitely be fun. So, yeah. Going to give this guy my name. Cruz does a Dominga. In the and then Greatness Driver. So, you know, this series. I'm going to be trying to do everything, but unfortunately, as I said, solo, so it may be a little difficult. Like, I'm going to be trying to do the Lava Golem solo, Ice Queen solo, everything solo. And, um, needless to say, that's going to be pretty difficult, so if you look, I've got some pretty boosted rates. Not too, too boosted, but you're gonna tell that that's a decent amount more than the average. Like, I'm getting 7 fiber, no, 12 fiber for, per grab. And I'm clip my Helena. And I need a little bit more thatch. And there we go. And then I need a stone. They should make it so you can equip stones and then use that to hit trees. Because, for one, that's relisted. And for two, it's a weed that you don't take damage. Also, that is a very odd way to get health. 16 health per level. But whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you yeah, know, all my stats are boosted. I believe I also have a very boosted weight. Just because, I mean, I feel like that's fair. And as you can tell, my XP is already going up quite a bit. Yeah, no. Each swing. If you look at that, there's a level. And I, I've got the amount I get boosted. As you can see, I got 77 thatch from one thing. I'm going to get another level of health. But, yeah, no. This is going to be... Needless to say, a very difficult thing to do solo. I've I've played plenty of times solo, but if I'm completely honest, normally I ended up cheating halfway through because I raged. So, well, not raged, but got frustrated. So we're gonna try not to let that happen this time. God, I love that. But the only thing is, that's so unrealistic. What in the world is that? What has a face and rib cage that big? Honestly, if you ask me, I feel like they were going for, like, what, um, just, what, um, Extinction did with the Titans. Like, oh, Titans are still living in this place and control it. Um, so, you know, this first episode is just gonna be some power leveling. Maybe try and get above level 20. I don't think I'm gonna do any tames today. Maybe I'll tame a Dodo or something just to have a companion so I don't go insane in this survival world. Um. I believe I can craft the hatchet now, actually. And I know I can get a starter base platform going. Um, honestly, I should probably get a campfire. Give me berries. Um, here, what level is this guy? I might try to take him on at some point. Well, 36. I'm not sure what my max level is on here, because you can't really change that on PS4 like you can with PCs. Oh wow, I got two levels from crafting those thatch foundations. Maybe I'll go and pump some levels in fortitude. Oh wow, I only get two fortitude per level. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to up that at some point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A little. Something else I may do is on this series, I feel like I'm going to move in base a lot, or just in general building a lot of bases. 
Um, just because Ranrot is so massive. Like, I might try to have a murder snow base that's surrounded in torches. Probably have a desert base. Probably have a highlands base. A bunch of stuff like that. And so if I do that, don't want to hit him on our instead. Um, it's gonna definitely, I'm definitely gonna end up probably leaving my bases around and maybe try to keep them as, like, memories. Like, oh yeah, do you remember when we made that at the start of the series? Probably not, but, <laughs> you know, I just thought, that's something I'll try to do. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna make it so I get, like, at least five fortitude per level. I can make a wooden club. I can try to knock something out with that. Something I really, really like about Radnorok is there's plenty of spots to get crystal. Uh, maybe that's something I'll do off camera. I'll make a very dangerous journey over in that direction. Because there's actually crystal that way. Like if you go up and around in that area, there's a lake with crystal at the bottom. And if I am mistaken on that, I know that there, I know of a few areas that you can get crystal. But that would just be a bunch of walking. I'm not sure you guys want to watch that. Maybe I'll do it in a video. But I'll just edit out all the watching. All the walking arounds. I need more fiber. But you know. The start of every survival series is definitely leveling something you need to get done as soon as possible. Bitty, bitty, bitty berries. I, the thing is, I've streamed so many times that it's starting to feel weird doing just regular videos because I'm not necessarily talking to anyone or trying to get someone to join so that I can talk to them. <laughs> ah! I jumped too far. Eight more. Go and place the door. Let's face it this way. I think that's good. I know the door's gonna be uneven, but I don't care right now. We just need a set up. We just need a roof over heads. That's all we need. Especially because I believe it gets really cold in this area at night. Got another level. I'm gonna put this one in weight. Let's see, how much weight do I get per level? I get 25. That is not bad. I liked that. I think I'll probably keep it like that. Oh, I only craft three. Wait, why did, why are there five in that queue? Okay, no, it went down to three. I'm like, um, no. Maybe I'll go and craft a spear as well in case I find a dodo. And I need to kill it for food. Yeah, this is a setup I always have. I always have pickaxe, spyglass, axe, and then the rest I don't really have a preference. Normally I keep food, like circle or axe. So, you yeah, know, the up arrow key is the one I use the most, obviously, since it's where my spyglass normally is. Um, I need fiber, right? Oh no, I need that. Well, that's easy. I can just take one swing at a tree, maybe two. One was enough. Ah! Um. Let me in. Let me in. There we go. That was weird. I'll craft one more. Then get another spear, why not? Just in case this one breaks. And I'll get another level. Put that down to wait. And now I've got enough endrooms. Um. Oh, I forgot you just torture vibrations. Eventually, 
I will be trying to get these to auto unlock just because I do like to have all the ingrams. It looks cool. Um, maybe when I get max level and then like I make myself kill a boss or something and I give myself all of the regular. Or once I get all the tech rooms, then I'll give myself every ingram. If I could find a way how. I think I know of a way how, but I could be wrong. Um, can you bola the... Oh, I don't have hide, so I don't know. I couldn't even if I want to. I was about to ask for you to bola carbonemus. I don't think you can. But where did that guy even go? He just left me all alone. No, my buddy. My friend, I was going to kill you later and eat you. Um, oh wait, is that him? I thought you left me. Yeah, no, that's him. It looks the exact same. Wait, is it? If it's a level 36, then it is. Yeah, it's him. Oh. Are you kidding me? What do I need? I need wood. I need to hit a tree with an axe. Oh, good thing he's slow. my friend and now I must eat him to survive I'm already going insane <laughs> in real life and in the game um, here what do I need for camp fear I think I need flint oh no I just need a little bit more stone because I still have flint and it's plenty of stone yay That's what I always do. And I'm going to drop a bunch of these skins. I normally keep just the Reaper, because that's the helmet I really like. And I'm hoping to maybe eventually make that my, like, signature and... Oops! I've been to ally damage off. Um, that's something I always do. Because one time I shot my Rex who was weak in the face because we were fighting another Rex and I went to shoot the other one but the other one turned his head and it hit my Rex and it killed him and I was very sad so ever since then I've had my um, ally damage turned off but yeah there's a little story for you um, story of my early days in Ark when I had first found out that you could use guns Yeah, no, this weight, this boosted, um, weight level is gonna be very nice. And I just need more fever. And that should be plenty easy to get. It's, it makes sense that it makes you slow when you're crafting stuff, but it's kind of annoying. Like, it, as I said, makes sense, but... It's really annoying when you need like that one bush to craft just one more of what you need, but you're so slow and you just start crawling your way towards it. It's painful. What in the world? Why is... Um, isn't that the top of one of these trees? Are you on the ground? Is there a tree in the ground here? I feel like there is. Yeah, there is. Would you look at that? A tree grew in the ground. LOL. Um, anyway, we've got enough for 
couple more arrows now. Yay. You know, sorry if this isn't too, too exciting. It's probably just a bunch of bland commentary on your guys' end. And I'm sorry about that, but there's not really anything I, I feel like we can talk about. I don't know of anything to talk about right now. There, now I've got 200 weight. And I'm level 14 already? What, what? And some cementing piece. Um. Did sell myself some engrams. It'd be cool if... Where'd you go? Helena! It'd be cool if you, what you can do with her on Genesis, you could do on all maps. It would be extremely OP, but it'd be very useful to be able to teleport <laughs> to like the other regions of the map, especially here on Red Rock. Like you could teleport to the snow, to the desert, to the ocean, <laughs> and to the lunar. Although this map doesn't have a lunar, so that one would just take you up in the sky and drop you. It would be a funny little troll. Um, there, this beach is like empty. Normally there's a bunch of dodos and ichthies on this beach. My dodo count, my dino count is regular. So I don't know why there's like nothing here. This is weird. Well, there's another carbo. But that's it. And yes, I am a person who keeps their floating damage numbers on. Why am I doing so little damage? There we go. Okay, this guy's a high level. He's definitely a high level. Stop shooting him in the shell. And my last arrow. Okay, now... Oh, I was hoping he got stuck. Oh, it's a level 85. Oh, no. I need more flint. Again, as I said, luckily these guys are slow. Oh, I crafted too many. He's a little bit faster than me now. Hopefully I can craft all of them before he gets to me, and I think I will. Why are you running, huh? Why are you running, huh? Big baby. Why are you running? Oh, seriously, though, why is he running? I mean, he is low on health, but he wasn't running before. Oh my goodness, just die already. You're so bloody. Okay. Here, wait a minute. Let me check something. I've always wondered, what does this man do? I don't see a difference. I I'll just leave it on. Um, here, can I get any of my arrows back? No? Please? Please! I think the arrows already despawned. Poop. Wait a minute, is that what it changes? The swing effect? I really have no idea. Nope, doesn't change that. Leave a comment down below. What? Maybe I'll look it up, but leave a comment if you're watching this. What does that setting change? Does it just make there be less blood when you do that? or I honestly don't know. What do I need for some more arrows? Flint and thatch. That I can do. I don't want stone, I want flint. All the stone will be useful when I get to the forge level. Also, jeez, how much stuff is in this rock? Wait, 
Holy cow, I'm gonna break my pickaxe just... There we go, jeez. That is so much stuff from that one little rock. Well, it actually was a decent sized rock, but still. Yeah, no, maybe my harvest rates are too high. Because I just got 90 thatch from one piece of wood. So, yeah. Um, oops. How many can I get? 18. And what am I gonna run out of? Fiber. Well, you know what, guys? I'm not sure what how much we've done for today, but I think we'll try to survive our first night, and then we'll end the video there. Because I feel like one day is good for just a startup episode. Because as I've said, there's not a lot to do other than level at the start of a series. Actually, I have a couple levels. Put those in stamina. Yeah. I'm gonna go and get all this hide stuff. Um, oh, I don't have enough levels. Poop. Mm, I'm three levels away from getting the smithy. There is a Dilo right there. I really don't want to have to deal with him. I know Dil Dilos aren't that dangerous, but still. I'd just rather have him leave me alone. Keep an eye out for him. Can't hit that one for some reason. Wow, I got like no fiber from that bush. Okay, Dodie's decently far away now. And then craft seven more arrows. What? what? I'll have an even 25 arrows. Look at that, we got ourselves some hide. Some sand. I don't know why. Maybe I'll try to craft some boomerangs. That was a lot of sand from one pile. Yeah, no, I might have to turn down my harvest rates. Cause could you imagine a bush with a dinosaur that actually gathers berries? I've already got a bunch of berries, I don't imagine them. Oh wait, I wonder if my meat's done. Probably. It's probably just getting me charcoal now. Yep. Which I'm fine with, because I'm going to need plenty of charcoal when we get to the gunpowder phase. Yay! Perfect timing, too. My meat was starting... Well, my food was starting to get a little low. Drink. Come on, I should be able to drink from this. Whatever. Let me drink! Seriously? What the heck? Why can't I just bury my hands in the water and bring it up to my face? Come on. Fine. Also, can we talk about the fact that we drink from the ocean? Do you have any idea how salty that would be? Ew. Who knows, though? Maybe the ocean in Arctis freshwater. <laughs> and the animals have adapted to live in that freshwater. Or have been modified to live in freshwater. Don't worry, I don't have the Coronta. Um, I'm all good. There we go. Yeah, no, that's a lot of berries. Boots and gloves. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I craft a Woolus. I don't craft one for now. Look at that, I've got full food and full water. 
it's always nice to see when you are at the very, very, very start when your character has all of his stats completely filled. Good that I'm not getting hot. You know, Viting Bay is actually decently cold. Oh, I didn't craft that meh hat. Meh. Do I have enough ingrams for a cloth one? Oh, I'm one ingram short. Wow. You know what? Maybe I'll just try to get some stone. And then that'll give me a little bit of XP. And I'll get some stone for the night. Or I can try to craft a storage box. I think I'm going to do that first. What do I need? Well, first of all, where is it? I don't even see it. Did I seriously not learn it? I didn't. I'm dumb. It's like one thing that you should always try to learn at the start. You know, I'm already just way down. Shoot. Maybe... Yeah, let's go and craft a water skin. I need it and it will give us a little bit of XP. Ooh, and a mortar and pestle. Get both of those out of the way. I did get a level. Wow. Just from crafting a mortar pestle and a water skin, I got, like, a level. I think I was already halfway to the level, but still. Uh -huh. Go on, just throw my narco berries in here. I don't have any spoiled meat yet. Although I do have some meat that I want to check in here. Um, here, how close is that spoiling? Two minutes? Okay. I'll throw 16 in here. And then I'll split all of these up, and when they spoil, we'll get... Actually, you know what? No. I've got 20 for now. I feel like that's okay. All of this should spoil at about the same time, and we'll be getting plenty of spoiled meat. And if you do not know that trick, you should now. Um, oh wait, I haven't put anything in my level yet. Wait a minute, I was gonna get the storage box alert. And then see if I have enough levels to get the hide hat. No! But I can't get the cloth hat. So we'll go and do that. Gotta get the storage box. What do I need? I need a little bit more wood. Shouldn't be no problem. This is one thing I like about Vikings Bay. It's very open and large, but it still has a lot of resources. And so it's like the perfect starter area. Like if you build a base here, you only have to walk like five steps and you'll get yourself some... Um, whatever, whatever you need, honestly. <laughs> it's even got metal. Granted, not as much as it has other stuff, but still. I do. Storage box. sand. You know, I'm just gonna throw all my resources in there for now, and I'm gonna go get a bunch of stone, because we're gonna need it when we get to the level of the forge. So, yeah. Stone, stone, stupid stone. Aw. Uh, I have already harvested that one of these now. Watch this, this one, this massive one breaks in like 10 hits. I would be really, really frustrated. Oh, look at all that stone. That's nice. Hey, and our meat spoiled. Let's go. Okay, we can craft some narcos and maybe tame something in the next episode. Okay, yeah, no, this is a lot of stone. Holy cow. My things don't need repaired. Okay, and now I can repair you. 
And really what I just need is a bunch of berries now for a bunch of narcos. Well, a bunch of narco berries for some narcotic. Give me narcos. Wow, I got two narcos from that bush. And I got none from that one. And I got two from that one. Are you kidding me? With my rates, it shouldn't be that bad. Wow, yeah, no, I'm getting, like, no narcos. That's really bad. Well, once I did a trike, it should be very useful. Or, really, just anything that can... It'd be cool if you could tame a dodo, and then have him, like, um, like you to whistle, go to, or whistle attack bush, and he would go and harvest it. It'd give dodos a lot more use than for a simple kibble. Or if you could just put your dodo on bush harvesting, <laughs> like that be a mini a setting in the little menu, and you could have that him do that whenever. I don't know why I wasted that water. I I sh I, sh I I had plenty. Now I'm in before any of my narcos. Sword. My whopping 21 narcos. How many can I craft? I can craft 11. Aye, aye, aye. Um, so basically, I just need to get a bunch of narcotic bear or narco berries right now. So that none of that spoiled meat goes to waste. Pick me berries, pick me some berries. It said, diddy diddy hole, it's gimme gimme berries. Well, give me, give me narco berries. Although that doesn't have the same ring to it. Give me, give me berries. Give me, give me berries. <laughs> uh -huh. Pick all this. What? No. Why, why can't I pick that? There we go. I had to like get in a really odd position to be able to pick that berry. Also, I'm getting fairly encumbered fairly quickly because of all my stone. Out of there. We should have some more. And I'm really slow now, so. It looks like it's turning night time, so it's the perfect time to head on back. which is enough for five more narcotic. Here, what's my gamma at? You know, I'm up that for the night. Look at how bright it is. Oh jeez, that's weird looking. It looks like there's a bunch of fog. I need some wood from the campfire to make it tonight. Let's go. I have my um, day and night time speed set so that um, days are a little bit longer than night. Just because if you ask me, it's, it's so stupid that nights are the same length as day. I mean, I know that, I feel like that's, I know that that's basically what it's like in real life. But still, so I've got to set to like, 1.3 day cycle and 0.7 night cycle so night cycle is a little bit faster and day cycle is a little bit slower so yeah um, I'm gonna fill my water skin too while I still have things 
chance, and it's not super, super, super dark. It's funny. On Extinction, if you know, if you've ever played on there, that area where you can get, like, element dust and stuff from the tables, and that little courtyard around the, all the greenery and that, like, little park, that waterfall that's, like, there, well, you can't drain from it. If you did a water skin, you can. You can water skin the waterfall and drink from it when you can't. When you, if you stand there, you can't unless you've got a water skin. Unless they changed it. Here, I should probably go and throw the, this captain in here. I should probably get a spot to put this fiber. You know what? I'm just gonna... Honestly, I never use stem berries or stimulant, so I'm gonna go and drop that. Eating berries, like a madman. Oh, I've got more stem berries right here. Mm. I think I actually am like, here, I'm not sure the exact number, but I know that I've got to be at least somewhat close to being able to craft a forge. Because if you didn't know... Oh wait, I'm not actually check. Um, because if you didn't know, forges cost so much stone, it's not even funny. Ooh, and I need to train heroes. 125 stone. Yeah, I've got that. Wait, what? What am I missing? I'm missing three hide? Oh, wow. Oh, that's annoying. Wow. I need literally three hide. Oh, come on. Please, Dodo, spawn. <sighs> I just needed Dodo. And you know what's funny? I walked away from base a little bit, and I found this guy. There was not a single... Oh my god, he's 135. Sorry for your loss, but I greatly appreciate your contribution to my survival. Yeah, no, that is insanely lucky. I'm like, okay, Cruz, cut this out. We're gonna go search for a dodo for like a half hour, and then I walk like five steps, and there's a dodo right there. Talk about that luck. Let's go! Let's go! Finally. Also, did that make a weird noise? I feel like it did. And then there's some wood in here. The thing is that that wasted so many resources. It was really painful to craft. And because I don't really need it too much, I can go and throw in meat in the campfire and get a little bit more cooking. Um, I'll put you in there. And I've got a little bit of metal. See, I've got seven, so I can make three units, and you need five for a smithy. So, yeah, no. 
I feel like we got a lot done today. I wanna... I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. It's kind of annoying that I've got to do that little spin thing. But, this is definitely a very fun episode. It's kind of cool how Helena's like my sidekick with the little dance. Um, but you yeah, know, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys sitting around and watching all these series that I'm posting, keeping up with the channel, subscribing, leaving likes, everything you guys do. And anyway, yeah, no, we'll, there should be another episode here at some point. And I'll probably do some stuff off camera. I'm gonna do a little bit more Narcos, get enough metal for a, a smithy. Maybe just some try to travel, get some crystal for a spy glass, you know. All the shaboot shebang. Anyway, yeah, no. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.